This is not Tokyo International Airport. It's not a spaceship terminal from a sci-fi movie either. It's a high-speed rail station in China. While America still argues whether it should build one high-speed rail line, China just finished constructing an entire transportation city, not a terminal, not a station, a megastructure the size of a metropolis, designed to move millions. You're looking at the Chongqing East Railway Station, the largest high-speed train station on Earth, a place that doesn't just connect people, it connects vision, steel glass precision, and a message to the world. The future doesn't wait. You're watching Superbuild, where megastructures define the future. If you love technology, construction, and breathtaking races between superpowers, don't forget to subscribe now to not miss the projects that make the whole world look up. 1. Why Chongqing? Not Beijing, not Shanghai, Chongqing. The mountainous megacity few outsiders think about is now home to the most ambitious transport hub on Earth. Why here? Because this isn't just a city, it's a gateway, linking China's booming west to its industrial east and global south. Carved between rivers and ridgelines, Chongqing is the largest mountainous city in the world, a natural fortress, now a strategic connector. From this one point, you can reach Beijing in six hours, Guangzhou in five, Chengdu in just one. This station will anchor China's next wave of development, a central node in the nation's horizontal and vertical high-speed network, not just moving people, but powering economies. The decision to build here wasn't just engineering, it was geopolitical, turning Chongqing into the logistics and financial epicenter of Western China. Because the next era of competition won't be fought with tanks, it'll be fought with infrastructure. Two, where stations become art walk into Chongqing East, and it hits you. This isn't a train station, it's a cathedral, built with steel, glass, and the kind of ambition the world forgot. Above you, 130,000 meters of curved metal ceiling ripple across the sky. A hyperbolic tube structure, elegant, aerodynamic, and absolutely massive. And then you see the trees, not real trees, but columns, sculpted like branches. 41 meters tall, reaching upward like they're holding the sky itself. They aren't just beautiful, they're load-bearing art, the first of their kind anywhere on Earth. This is not just engineering, it's emotion, a structure designed to stir awe and remind you even transit can be transcendent. You don't feel like you're waiting for a train, you feel like you're in a museum, a sculpture garden, a space station built for the public. China didn't just build a station, they created an experience where passengers become participants and function becomes form. Three, urban integration, a station that's also a city. In most cities, a train station is where the journey ends. But in Chongqing, it's where a new kind of city begins. Chongqing East is more than a rail hub. It's the brain of a living, breathing ecosystem designed to move people, goods, and capital with zero friction. From one single complex, you can connect to seven high-speed rail lines, two conventional railways, and four metro lines, all flowing into each other, all synchronized in real time. It's called station city integration. No taxis, no delays, no transfers across town. Step off your high-speed train, and within minutes, you're on the metro, at your office, or seated at a cafe inside the station's commercial plaza. Everything is connected above ground, below ground, seamlessly. This isn't transportation, it's urban choreography. Other countries build train stations. China builds ecosystems. Where infrastructure doesn't just serve the city, it becomes the city. Four speed of construction. Chongqing is a city of cliffs, of mountains, of geological nightmares for engineers. And yet, this is where China decided to build the most complex high-speed hub in the country's history. They broke ground in late 2018. Just seven years later, the station is fully operational, not delayed, not scaled back, not coming soon, done. They didn't just build across a flat field. They carved a station out of a mountainside. They leveled hills, sank deep foundations, and raised an architectural marvel in record time. The signature roof, completed in under 12 months. The interior, 
finished within the last six? No excuses, no political gridlock, just results. Meanwhile in America, proposals for high-speed rail are still buried under feasibility studies, lawsuits and opposition from just about everyone. China didn't wait for permission, they built it. And they did it fast. Because speed isn't just about the train, it's about the mindset. Five, where is America? The revolution won't wait while China cuts ribbons on futuristic train stations. America is still stuck at the planning table. Let's be blunt. The United States has exactly zero true high-speed rail systems. The best it can offer? Amtrak's Acela, topping out at 150 miles per hour for just a few dozen miles. On average, it crawls at 65. Meanwhile, China runs thousands of trains at 217 miles per hour or faster every single day. They move 2 billion passengers a year on over 27,000 miles of high-speed lines. America, still arguing over land rights, budgets, and environmental reviews. Still dreaming, still debating, and its stations, old, cramped, outdated. The future left them behind a long time ago. In China, high-speed rail isn't a fantasy. It's the backbone of national mobility, a living system, expanding, adapting, accelerating. America is not losing the race. It's not even on the track. The revolution is already here, and it's leaving the station with or without the West. Can America keep up with China's high-speed revolution? And now, as you stand inside the largest train station on Earth, as bullet trains glide in like clockwork, as thousands move without friction, without delay, the answer is clearer than ever. Chongqing East Railway Station isn't a station, it's a message. To the world, to the future, to anyone still hesitating. So the question isn't, can America catch up? It's, will it even try? China can build a station like this in seven years. How long do you think it would take the US to do the same if they actually started? If you found this story as mind-blowing, hit subscribe, turn on notifications, and join us on Superbuild, where we uncover the biggest, boldest, most unbelievable megastructures on Earth. See you next time.